Hey everybody, this is Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Line School. What I want to do for you today is call in my friend the Naughty Professor, hey that's me too, and talk about the figure eight. What I've got is some basics on the figure eight, this is the portion of it that I want to make sure we show first, and then get into the coolest way to tie a figure eight. Thanks for joining us. All right, so the figure eight is an incredibly useful knot. This is just the beginning of it. And there's a lot of uses for it. I'm actually not gonna go into those today, but I am gonna have in the description below my two most favorite books in the whole wide world on knot tying. I've got, I don't know, I don't know 15, 16 books on knot tying. And um, got a lot of practice on the farm and camping and all that good stuff. So check out the books below if you wanna get two fantastic resources. And what we're gonna do with this video is we're gonna give you an over the shoulder look of how to tie this and then we'll get to that cool one at the end. So the first thing you do is you get about an arm's length of rope here. And then you lay that working end on top of the standing end. Put it around behind the standing end. Then bring the end of the working end down through the hole. Once you get that, you get your basic figure eight. Now that we have that, we're just basically, look at it, we're gonna basically pull it right up from the bottom again and retrace our steps. So I push it up through here and retrace. I bring it around behind. You can see this piece is going around behind. I bring that around behind, back down through the hole. And then if you'll follow it on around, it comes back around again and it finishes up top. So what you wanna finish with is a knot where all the lines are parallel. So two lines here, two lines here. You don't want this crossing over itself like we have it here. And you want those parallel lines all the way around. This is called dressing up the knot. So as we look at it here, what we've got is parallel lines, parallel lines, parallel lines. When we turn it over, we have parallel lines, parallel lines, parallel lines. That is our figure eight. All right, now I'm gonna show you a really quick and dirty way to do the same knot. So this next one is just a figure eight on a bite. So what we have is a bite. If you don't know what a bite is, refer to my other videos on rope terminology. So I have my bite, take a look at it, just the doubled up rope really. And I lay that bite on top instead of the single portion like I did before. Then around behind, and then I take that down through my loop on the bottom. So once I do that, I just dress everything up again because I'm looking for parallel lines, parallel lines, parallel lines. And I flip it over. See, I don't have parallel lines, so I gotta dress it up so I can get my parallel lines, parallel lines, parallel lines. That is a figure eight on a bite. So on this next one, all I'm gonna do is show you the stopper, which is basically the base of that figure eight. Now I learned this one from my good friend, Dustin, who came to one of our classes, and a pretty fancy way of getting that stopper set up, which is you basically are gonna circle it up and throw this end down through there. So watch this. Once we do that, we can pull it up and we have the basis. Now, just go back to the way we did at the beginning and retrace your steps and you'll have the final figure eight. Now this next one is pretty fancy and you're gonna love it. I know you're gonna love it, but we need a pine tree to be able to do it right. So I'm gonna go find one and meet you there. All right, so what we have here is the Pinus virginiana, also known as the Virginia pine tree. This is what I like to do. I use the tree because I'm a beginner. When Chad taught me this, he did it just out in the air. It was crazy. I, I mean, I watched him and then just, it took me forever to figure it out. I found out that I could use a tree as a beginner and it helped me really well. So what I'm gonna do is you're gonna see me twist and turn this into figure eight. And for me, by whipping it up against the tree, it throws the figure eight stopper in at the end. So here we go. Double it up, throw it. And now we have our figure eight stopper. 
And what we do with this is just retrace like we did before. Hey, I hope that helped. Uh, that's some really interesting ways. And the, one of the things that this highlights is that we, we do everything that we can at Nature Reliance School in our classes to be as professional and as good instructors as we possibly can, whether it's land navigation, survival, or whatever. But one of the things that we benefit from as instructors is we have some very high class, really incredible people that come to classes. We hope that's you. We hope you join us too. So the motto of come on, join in, let's learn together is just in play every time we have a class because there's people in class that are always sharing skills and downtime and all that cool stuff. Thanks again to Dustin and Chad for teaching me these ways that they taught me how to do this. Incredibly fun, just, just fun ways to play with rope. If you want to get good at tying knots, here's what I recommend. Get a good resource, either watch me on YouTube or anybody else on YouTube. Get the resources I recommended or others that you like, and then get you a hank of rope, whether it's something like this you can pick up, or, or better yet, get some paracord. I'll have a link for our paracord in our store down below. Cut you off a section and just tie knots sitting around the house. Just a really good way to really get good at tying your knots. As far as this method of using a tree, get out and identify your trees. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all these knots. And if you're trying it on a tree that works better than the one that I utilize, then put that in the comments so that we can learn together. As always, come on, join in. Let's learn together. All right, so this next one, this is a Virginia. Have your figure eight. Now, the way you finger fit. Uh, you start over? Yep. Hey, everybody, this is Craig Cottle, director of Nature Reliance School. 